Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to show quite an interesting tarot deck. That is the Jungian Tarot by Robert Wang. This was published two years ago by US Games and it was out of print for quite a long time because it was previously published by another publisher. So here is the box and it's a hard cardboard box and I'm going to show some of the cards in a moment. Here is the little white book written by Robert Wang and I personally won't be using the little white book because Robert Wang uses very much his own correspondences for the cards and I follow the Golden Dawn Associations. So other people may find the Little White Book interesting um, because of the different correspondences but as I'm saying I won't, I won't be using the Little White Book because the correspondences in here don't really make much sense for me. So there, in the little white book there is um, meanings for the cards and these are all from a Jungian archetypal perspective. So this, this deck is good for inner work. I think the meanings for the cards are quite good and useful. It's just the correspondences that I won't be using at all. Now for the cards. The cards are different in the way that they are not titled at all. There, are, there is no numbering on the minor arcana, there is no titles for the chord cards, there is no titles for the major arcana. But I really like this deck anyway, so I'm going to show you the cards. Here is the back, and the back of the cards is like the picture images that are on the box. Cardstock is very good, it's the usual US Games cardstock. The cards have a semi gloss finish. Here is the Magician. I actually don't have any problem really without the titles on the cards. I look at these images and I just automatically recognize what these are, but I wouldn't recommend this deck for a um, person who is relatively new to tarot because there are no titles or numbering on the cards. But for me, this isn't really a problem. So here is the magician. Really like this high priestess card. And a lot of the cards have got very interesting mandala symbols on them because that's a Jungian concept. So that's the High Priestess. And I'm quite happy enough with the white borders on these cards too because it, it doesn't detract at all from the artwork. That's the High Priestess. This card is called the Lover rather than the Lovers plural. I quite like that idea. These cards are, I think, more for inner work rather than divination. You could use them for divination, but 
I'm not so sure that they really work as well on that level. So that's the lover. Wheel of Fortune. Strength. And the little white book doesn't really mention the images, it really mentions the meanings. So for other people that may also be a little bit of a problem, but as I was saying, I don't have too much trouble recognising these images. That's strength. Hanged man. I think this deck is well done. I like the artwork. Robert Wang also did another tarot. I think it's called a Golden Dawn tarot. Um, I don't like that deck. Uh, the artwork is not as good and I don't see it as a proper Golden Dawn deck. There's a bit of a story attached with that historically. Um, but we're talking about the Jungian deck today. Death card. I love the symbols in these cards too. Robert Wang is not a Jungian analyst, but he did consult with Jungian analysts um, when creating this deck. I love this tower card. This is a really unique concept image for the tower card. It's implying, or kind of implying, that the individual is actually bringing down the tower themselves, whether that is intentional or not. I really like that. I think that's more empowering than the usual type of um, tower card image where people see that as an outside event happening to them. So that's the tower card. I love this moon card too. I think this is a great moon card. It really captures the essence of the moon concept. So you've got the crone or the elder type of figure here. Really like that. And here is the world card. This one's a little bit more traditional. So there's some of the major arcana cards and I will show some of the uh, minor arcana in a moment. I'm just wanting to 
have a look in this little white book for a moment about any other changes of the titles for the cards. No, not really. Not really. The lover is the main thing, you know, singular rather than plural. Okay, so now for some of the minor arcana. Here is the Ace of Wands. And this is a plain pip deck. This, these are non-scenic pips. So for people who like those kinds of decks, they might be interested in this. Here is the Ace of Wands. And what I do like about these cards is they are colour-coded according to the traditional Golden Dawn element colours. So you have a fiery red or deep orange for the fire element for wands. This is the six of wands. And you can see the red colour here in the frame, the border. The inside border is red for the fire element. Six of Wands. And the King of Wands. You can see all the fire here and the red. That's the Wands. Now for Cups. Ace of Cups. And this is a very traditional, this is the weight looking, weight smith looking Ace of Cups. And this has the blue inside border for the water element. So a red for fire, blue for water. Six of, excuse me, four of cups. Four of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. Put the blue inside border. Now for swords, so this is yellow for air. I do like these traditional Golden Dawn colours for the elements. Ace of Swords. Three of Swords. And the Princess of Swords. So the court cards are King, Queen, Prince and Princess. And anyone who knows the Toth deck, that is also the same naming for the court cards. This has also got the plain pips like the Toth deck as well, but it's not really... I don't really think of this as, you can think of it as a kind of Toth type of deck because it has a, you know, Marseille plain pip non-scenic structure. But I think of this as, um, you know, Jungian and inner work type of deck. So this is the Princess of Swords.
And there's no numbering on the major arcana, which also is different to a Toth deck too. You always have numberings and titles. Now, black for the earth element representing soil. The Ace of Pentacles. Really like this black associated with the element of earth or the pentacles four excuse me I keep saying the six of pentacles six of pentacles And the Queen of Pentacles. I like this black earthiness or the earth element. Queen of Pentacles. So there's some of the cards of the Jungian Tarot by Robert Wang. I really like this deck. I think it is a great deck for inner work. And I really like the artwork. I like the simplicity. The simplicity of this deck really frees up the mind which is what Jungian psychology is about. You're working more with the unconscious, the subconscious. And if you have a simple structure without titles, without numbering, for me, this frees up the mind, the thinking faculty. So the Jungian Tarot by Robert Wang, published by US Games two years ago. And I'll put the details below the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.